on with the difference between a five set of five rep range and a four set of 15 rep range. Five sets of five, you should be looking at compound movements. That means occurring at multiple joints and using full body exercises that require multiple muscle groups to contribute. So we're looking at a bench press, a squat, power cleans, deadlifts, all these occur at multiple muscle joints and you'll be able to get a lot more benefit by going heavy and pushing yourself hard for these short amount of reps here. For four sets of 15, you wanna look at more isolation movements. That means we're doing bicep curls where you get a really good contraction on one muscle group at a time. Um, calf raises are a good example. Really using slow contraction, an explosive concentric contraction, and a slow controlled eccentric contraction to get the most benefit from the exercises. Another difference that you'll see from these two is that going heavy with less reps can create more muscle growth. If you want big muscles, you have to lift big weights. Simple as that. Whenever we look at four sets of 15, if you want more tone and resting tension in your muscles, this is where you wanna be. And to wrap things up, this is not set in stone. Everyone's body is going to react differently to different sets and reps. If you're a beginner, starting here with the four sets of 15 will benefit you because it'll give you time to get comfortable with the motions and it'll give you time to adjust to how your body is gonna feel doing resistance training. Five sets of five, that's gonna be more for your experienced lifters who are comfortable with these motions and are not gonna injure themselves with poor form. That's all we got for you today, guys. We'll see you back next week. 198. 199, 1,000, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, hey, didn't see you there. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and keep following us for more educational exercise content. Bye.